Untamed was off the chain, man. What's up, my dudes? Spency Boy Livestream Boy back at it. We back at it, dudes. Oh, look at me, dude. I'm out here on my pro circuit bike, bro. She's taking her back to like 2007 real quick. No biggie. No big deal. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, bro? All right, Spency Boy. We on the side of a major dam. You know what I mean? <laughs> what's up, what's up, boys in chat? Whoa. Yo, we got to jump off this thing, first of all. First and foremost. First and foremost. Oh, there we go. Just take a little swim. Spency boy going to take a little swim real quick. Okay, let's jump off of the middle one. Let me see if I can figure out what I'm doing here, bro. Yeah, yeah, this one right here, dude. This is the one right here, dude. Oh, God. Ooh, dude, I can't even get off the lip. I can't even get off the lip. A little too aggressive on the lips, Fancy Boy. Dudes, can you even land off this? I don't know. <laughs> That's pretty gnarly, bro. <laughs> that is pretty savage. Big time jumps out here, boys. We got some big time jumps out here, boys. Sub us up, dudes in chat. We trying to get these live streams going again, man. Ooh, that's a little jump. All right. Ooh, the road. <laughs> Let me crash seven times in a row real quick. Bro, there's some gnarly jumps you can hit in this game. Like next level jumps. Look at this right here. Ooh. Taking you back to some Untamed. I know a lot of you guys enjoy these old school retro classic dirt bike games. Not a whole lot of people still doing content on these. And if I remember correctly, I believe that... Uh... Whoa, look at this little thing. I believe this one is... Is this one even on PC? I don't even know if you can get this one on PC. Bro, Spinty Boy going to the Lodge. Let's go hang out at the Lodge real quick. Subs up, boys, tuning in. Yo, I appreciate the shit out of all you guys tuning into these streams. It makes all this possible, you know what I mean? Yeah, dude says in chat, after a few years without playing MXGP3, you came back to it yesterday and saw how much better it is compared to the other MXGP games. Yeah. Yeah, that's all you got to do, really, with a lot of those milestone games. I think a lot of people do that. They go a certain amount of time, then you kind of forget how they are. But yeah, especially like the terrain deformation, dude, you'll go back and you'll feel it on uh, MXGP3. You'll be like, what the hell are you doing, milestone? What are you doing? Subs up, boys in chat. Any super chats that I get, I'll read your message off. And we got the memberships popping off again. All you got to do is hit the join button. Obviously, the more members that I get, the more I can stream. So that plays into all of it. Let's just jump off this shit, dude. Oh, daddies. Oh, Spitzy boy, you did it this time. Woo! I'm not going to crash on all of them, dude. Oh, my gosh. We got the tea sipping, ripping, pro circuit, 250, dripping, Spency boy. Bro, I'm, I've got tunnel vision. I hit that jump so hard, dude. What's up, Dallas? What's up, big dog? Yeah, I do remember a lot of you guys. It's been a while, and it's been a while since I've live streamed. I apologize. Unfortunately, to live stream on YouTube, you got to have pretty substantial internet connection. <laughs> so that can kind of catch up to you real quick. The whole squat on that real shit if you ain't careful. Do 
Dude asking chat, what's my opinion on uh, Chase Sexton's crash while he's in the lead? Yeah, yeah. Which one are you talking about? Are you talking about, talking about the newest one or the one right before that one or the one right before that one or the one right before that one? Wh which one? <laughs> hey Dallas, I uh, I've actually been playing MX bikes behind the scenes, um, so that content will be coming back before you can say Bob's your uncle. Uh, you know, just getting a little warmed up on the game again, getting in there on the new beta before I really start making content on it. But yeah, that'll be like one of the next videos that I make will be an MX Bikes video. So be on the lookout for that. And I will be getting a MX Bikes dedicated multiplayer server so that we can get on there and rip up some, <clears throat> some uh, multiplayer on bikes. Yeah, it's all coming back, guys. Tree! Hit that tree! Yo, free riding back in these days, like... Why did it feel like I could spend more time? Literally. Free riding... Oh, is there a landing right there? We... we a little past it. I thought I was going to land down that rock mountain. Um... But yeah, it felt like you could spend more time just free riding in these older MX vs. ATV games than you can playing the entire new Supercross game. Like the whole thing, bro. Like, damn, where did these days go? Where did these developers go? Where did this content go? I don't even know. Woo! Trying to find some cool little jumps that I might be able to land. I know there's probably some interesting ones on this track. Look at that crazy-ass motocross track in the background with hills. Dude, look at those hills. That looks so kick-ass from, from far back like that. Bro, there's still a pop-off system in this game, you know what I'm saying? There's a little pop-off system in this game, which is very good. I'll, I'll take popping off every once in a while, you know... When sometimes I might not necessarily should have versus never popping off. I'll always take the I'll always rather the game be a little bit harder. Oh shit. Does a bear shit in the woods? Does Spency Boy suck down that tea? Oh bro. What's uh yeah, this is back in the day where you have like random, you know, things <laughs> on the free ride maps. That dang Smokey the Bear out here. Look at this, bro. They could have had some sort of a... I think this was the MX vs. ATV game that started to get more of the, like, animated stuff on the free ride maps, like the vehicles going by and the little animals and shit. But uh, we just did that live stream on MX vs. ATV Unleashed, and it, it didn't have quite as much of that. You know what I mean? Ooh, a little triple. A little triple for the Spency Boy. Bro, you can't even see my number. It's all muddied up on the gear. So this was the one where if you hit the A button, you can kind of get the bike to whip more in the air if you hold it. Whereas uh, MX First Aid to be Unleashed, you don't have to hit any buttons. What's up, Zach? What's up, bro? Yeah, I don't know what the hell's going on with Chase Sexton. <laughs> I don't even know, dude. What it's just like again and again and again. Let me get that thing real quick. Ooh, I think we can jump all the way to that. Yeah, <laughs> dude. Definition of popping off right there. Uh. There was something about this these older dirt bike games that just gave you this certain feeling of like scale and size and jumping and I don't know where the hell was all my dudes I don't know where the hell all that bullshit started after reflex and even after alive I would say but I think it kind of started a even a little bit in the alive days that's like when all that bullshit one-to-one -one scaling let's make everything smaller let's try to make the tracks realistic like it's a fucking simulator i don't know where all that crap came from but i swear it basically ruined the fun of a lot of the dirt bike games after it 
Now, obviously, Unleashed and Untamed scaling is pretty crazy, obviously, but, like, Reflexes scaling I thought was pretty good for an arcade dirt bike game. Like, there's not really a reason to go much tighter or smaller than that. Now, it's different on a simulator. Whoa, that's a big jump. That's a big jump. My suspension held up. Thank you, Mitch. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Can I see dirt bikes going electric in the future? I mean, that's about what has to happen, isn't it? That will be a weird-ass day, dude. Love to see, uh, what is it, Lesher on the two-stroke on Arena Cross? Saw that dude in person ripping that thing, dude. Two strokes can still, 252 smokers can still rip on Arena Cross, apparently. Big daddy jumps, dog. But yeah, what happens is if you make the scaling too small on, especially an arcade dirt bike game, you know, if you're trying to make it too one-to-one -one realistic, it just doesn't capture the same what I feel like it would feel like actually hitting that shit in real life because everything's bigger feeling in real life, you know? Real moto dudes know that. Everything's bigger when you go down there and you step foot on the super cross track or you step foot on the arena cross track than it looks like on TV and shit like that. And especially if you're the one riding on it and you're the one having to huck those triples and all that. So, especially in a video game, you got to be real careful with that or you'll end up making it way too easy, way too simple. And I think that's what happened with a lot of these dirt bike games after Reflex. Boys, we're going to be popping back off with the memberships. All you got to do is hit the join button. I have a, uh, a reflex setup video that's a members only video. That is the best possible way to support me and the streams if you enjoy them. Obviously, bro, if you ain't got no money, you know, obviously, you know, stay alive, you know what I'm saying? But that does help me out a lot. But, like, think about the creativity it took just to make that motocross track right there. That's pretty next level, dude. <clears throat> okay, where... I'm trying to figure out where all I can go on this bad boy. Oh, that's getting... Yeah, 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 yeah. So it still kept the, you know, get to the edge of the map and explode into the, you know, another galaxy. Still kept that from MX First ATV Unleashed. Progressive, bro. Shit. Look at that. Are we like going into the future Kenny Roxon right now? What's going on here? Bro, I love streaming. That's sharp. That is sharp. We're rock crawling. We're rock climbing. We're hill climbing. What's up, what's up, boys in chat? I am definitely constantly looking at chat, so, you know, blow the chat up, bro. Helps the stream out. Isn't there a two-stroke championship happening this weekend? I have no idea on that, big dog. Look at that water. Look at that water. Bro, let me put my bike in the back of your truck real quick. Spency boy needs a lift. I ran out of tea. Just kidding. We, I never run out of tea, dude. No, I'm kidding. Trust me. I never run out of tea, bro. I've been drinking, lifting out the faucet. I'm in love with Houston, Dallas, Austin. Have I ever been to a monster jam? Actually, no, I haven't been. I've been to two Supercrosses and and uh, one Arena Cross. I've actually raced in a Fair Cross, and I've raced Hair Scramble races. Um, yeah, I've rode on like er, like full scale Arena Cross tracks in real life before. I mean, maybe not like AMA arena cross scaling, but damn near close. 
I could basically double through the rhythms and hit the finish line jump, but I was rolling the whoops and not tripling in. <laughs> That's basically where I was at. That's a big jump, you know? Supercross or Arena Cross, a lot of people can hit the finish line jump. A lot of people can double through the rhythms, but the big daddies... You know, the men from the boys get separated with the triples and then hitting the whoops really hard. That's where you really separate. That's crazy that I say that because MX Simulator is a lot like that. Like, there's a lot of people that can get around a Supercross track on MX Sim. Um, you know, a lot of people can double through the rhythms and roll through the whoops and hit the finish line, but... Once you start to triple through stuff and your fifth gear tapped out, tea sipping through the whoops, takes her to another level. Why doesn't JLV make MX Sim 2? Well, I don't know. I don't know about that one, man. That's the one they really need to do the erode system on and actually like make it good. With cushion and all that stuff and better graphics. It's, I mean, it's possible. I don't think it's ever going to happen, but it is possible. What's up, what's up, boys? Tuning in. Spencey Boy taking you back to 2007. Little bit of T Pain, Lil Wayne. That era. Bro, that's crazy, dude. That's crazy, dude. I've not gotten a single... This is crazy. Since I got back into live streaming, I've not gotten a single Super Chat or a single new membership. I thought, I thought that was kind of crazy. <laughs> but we'll get it going, guys. We'll get it going. What is this? Just like a wide open area? Wide open spaces and places. Okay, let's go to another track here, boys. Best MX game other than Reflex. MX Simulator. <laughs> there was also this one, which is similar biome, but still a different track. All right, Spencey boy, what you got, bro? What you got, bro? Oh, shit, I always overjumped that. Ugh. Interesting whipping in this game. Very interesting. Finally got a notification. Thank Pastrana. Be sure you got all those turned on. It's hard enough just to make it on YouTube, but then, you know, <laughs> when, when it you subscribe and it doesn't actually notify you with everything unless you have all notification bells turned on, yeah, that makes it, you know, extra difficult. Fancy boy, a little freestyle. Fancy boy, a little freestyle. This was uh, this was the first loading screen map that was ever added to a MX vs ATV game, which is kind of crazy. I think Reflexes was a little better, but this one's definitely legendary and classic. Classic. <laughs> no footer, dude. I'm casing the shit out of that. It's a nice uh, Southern Valley morning. Uh, 80, 69 degrees Fahrenheit. <clears throat> yeah, dude. No shit. Like, Excite Bike 60. Bro, I want to go to this place. Like, green bike. 420 on the bike. We're just having a nice little Southern Valley day, dude. Whole oh, spence. Yeah, Excite Bike 64 with the with the Supercross track editor. Yeah. That was next level. That was definitely next level. Yeah, with uh with the super chats and the memberships, I'm like, shit, I hope everything's still working on my end. Just because it's been so long since I've streamed, I just haven't gotten any. So I'm like, I don't even know if that shit still works. 
usually takes me three or four streams before I start getting that stuff. Look at the little sun glare effect. That's interesting. Well, there's some of those on the MX Sim tracks. I love playing around with the brightness and the saturation settings in these older games. Here's the big daddy. Look at this. Bro, what was that old school deer hunting game where you, you were like the deer? You know what I'm talking about, dude? I know some of you boys know what I'm talking about, dude. Like, you're you're the deer hunting the hunter? <laughs> I just now remembered that shit. That, that's going way back, bro. That is going way back, bro. Yeah, is that what it is? Buck hunter? I, dude, I can't even remember the name. We're just going for big tea sipping jumps. That's all we're doing, bro. That is all we're doing, bro. Let me see if I can remember how to backflip on this game. Oh my god, that is more than straight up. Can I even get up this? Whoo, that's a challenge. Mincy boy got a little challenge here. Dude, I don't know if I can even get up this. Look at that skybox. We got airplanes. Crop dusting, dude. Oh, my God. See if we can get up this mountain. I don't know if I can get up it right there. Yeah, dang. Ooh, spins. No, no. Well, fakey, fakey. We're just doing a little BMX. No big deal. Bro, I just want to hit a big jump. Uh, landing, please. Give me a landing. Ooh. Yeah, let's see if I can... I know this is the game where you kind of have to do the... It's like a lean forward and lean back while you got the button pressed for the tricks. That's clutch. Okay. It is a little bit tricky backflipping on this one, but I know you can. Oh, seat bounce, fancy boy. Dude, I could play these games for literally endless amounts of time. Like, there is no limit. There is no limit. I know I can get up this thing over here. Like, right about here. Oh, shit. Oh, that stump's collidable. Might have to be a little over a little bit more. Yeah, Moto Gaming on YouTube is definitely niche, I would say. And even more so, I feel like MX Sim is even more so niche. Okay, so I've got to jump. Ooh, that's a big jump. I could jump that all the way up. I'm going to have to turn the bike a little bit. See if I can do it. Oh, shit. Midnight Club Dub Edition Remix, dude. Need for Speed Underground, dude. Okay, let's see. I got to get the lift to not over jump. Shit, that's exactly what I'm doing. Okay. We could have got we could have got more air time there, but yeah, like I'm kind of forgetting the uh Let me see here in the settings. Where would that be at? Options, preferences, controller, uh stunt modifier is left bumper. Okay, that's got to be how I backflip here. What's up, Dawson? What's up, big dog? I see you boys in chat. We're just having a little Spency Boy chill stream. There we go, baby. Ooh. Can I do the dubski? Can I do the dubski? Oh, Spence, come on, come on. No, dude. Need a little more tea sipping. Need a little more tea. That ain't going to cut it. Need a little more lifting. A couple more shots of lifting. I'd have got over it. Oh, dude, that's crazy. The backflips in this game are like 
just all depends on how you come off that jump face. Interesting. You can control it a little bit, but you can also double backflip for sure. Bro, look at these models. Bro, I want to mod that car out. I'm I'm seriously going to have to do some like Midnight Club Dub Edition remix streams, some GTA San Andreas streams. <laughs> There's so many games from this time period. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, I can get the double. It's just just got to come off that jump face the right kind of way. Dude says in chat, it's crazy that a game from 2008 is more fun than the new Milestone games. Actually, uh, MX vs. ATV Unleashed, the game from 2005, is more fun than the new Milestone games. <laughs> so, it goes back even further. Really. Maybe if I... Let me see here. If I do something with the throttle, like let off, and then get... Yeah, that's it. That's it. Okay. So the whole trick to the backflip, depending on what kind of gas gyro setting you have on, I have mine turned on, I believe, because that gives you a little more control. But the way you can do a double backflip on this, if you can't remember, so, you know, you hit your stunt button, hold it down, get to the jump face, let off the gas on the lip, lean forward, lean back, then get on the gas, and that that kind of get starts that gas gyro a little bit faster and you can kind of get it to quick do like a quick rotate you know what i mean that's how you get that quicker rotation but you got to have a shitload of speed to get enough distance enough air time to really do the double you know what i mean tea break tea break got to sip on that tea big dogs Big hoss and tea sipping, ripping. Bro, who's sipping on that tea in chat? I don't even know if you can watch a Galaxy Boy stream without sipping on the tea. I don't know if that's possible. I really don't. I don't know. Some of you guys may pull it off, but shit, I don't know. Then you can do the tricks with the backflips. Bro, look how insane, dude. <laughs> Is there anything I'd like to see added to the MX vs. ATV games? Uh, yeah, make them more like Reflex in every way. And put a track editor in it for God's sakes. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, I probably could have landed that if I didn't go for the dub. Bro, everybody tea sipping, dude. Everybody tea sipping, dude. That's the best thing about tea. The reason why I'm a little more of a tea dude than a coffee dude, I don't know if I've ever explained this, but tea is like, it, kind, it just elevates you just enough. You know what I'm saying? Elevate your brain levels just enough. And therefore, you don't crash too hard. You don't get off of your... You know, equilibrium, it j just does just enough. You start getting into coffee with 69 shots of espresso and all that shit. Kind of takes you off of your game. You know what I mean? May help you out at first, but then, you know, it's so extreme. So it's kind of the same way with, uh, like, anything other than tea. <laughs> really. Tea does just enough, bro. Just enough. It puts you right where you want to be, bro. What's up, dude from Austria? What's up, bro? What's up, big dog? It's going to be a slow, steady grind for the Spency Boy. Now that we got fiber back at the crib, I've never had it at my actual house, but now that we have it, it's going to be a slow grind. We're going to keep on these streams. We're going to keep them going. Try to make the next live stream like a multiplayer one so you guys can actually participate a little bit. But it's really a rebuild process for my whole channel right now, man. I've went basically two years of, you know, just inconsistency, little bit of live streams, and then not... I mean, it's just been a shit show. 
But all you can do is get to it, bro. Love these motocross tracks on Untamed. Love them, dude. Well, kissing the tough blocks. Well, kissing the tough blocks. That's an over jump. That's an OJ. That's a major OJ. Damn, we got boys from all over. Got boys from all over the globe on this stream. That's something you don't necessarily always think about. Kind of crazy. Really cool thing about YouTube, though. <clears throat> yeah, we'll get on there and do some actual, like, racing on here. Just kind of getting the stream going. Sup, sup, boys in chat. But yeah, if you become a member of the channel, it gives you a really cool alien emoji beside your name in the live chat. You get a bunch, you get like a cool T, custom T emoji. <laughs> A lot, a lot of cool stuff on there. I've got, I think, like 10 different members-only videos right there. And if you become a member, it unlocks all of those at once. And a lot of the, most of those are videos that, like, I don't normally make on my channel. Like certain setup videos or certain guide videos. So it's really stuff that I'm trying to do everything I can to make the memberships worth it. Become a dudeski today. That's the big thing that helps out the smaller YouTubers, man. I still look at myself as being a majorly small YouTuber. Kind of weird, because I remember the days of thinking like 100 subs was a lot, but now I think, you know, 100,000 is kind of something. Kind of weird how the numbers are in your head. Never would have thought I would have got to this point, though. Big lesson to all you boys out there. Sometimes it don't necessarily seem like you're going to be able to do something, but if you just stay on it, that's when the magic happens. That's when the magic happens. Doesn't matter what you're doing. But if you're like expecting it to be, be something or turn into something, that's when you struggle because then you got all those expect, expectations. I didn't really have any of that. It was like, oh shit, I'm just making custom tracks on MXM, playing moto games. Shit, I might as well record it. You know what I mean? Then it turned into all this crazy ass shit that I can't even explain anymore. Woo, we got a little object collision. All right. Oh shit, jump over the barn. Oh god. Bro, I try to be the realist. I try, I try my best. I for some reason I got that feeling back in the day like Especially within the Moto YouTube community, like, somebody's got to do it. And I wasn't really seeing a whole lot of people doing it. Basically, nobody was doing it. So I had to make up for that and be the one that really does it. <laughs> really says the truth. Really tells you what, to, what you need to hear. Really tells you all the negative things. Really goes in there. But, but you know, now I'm the big hater boy and all that shit, but it's all good. It's all good. If I was sweating about, about all that, I'd have quit a long time ago. Damn, we got a member in the chat. What's up, dude? What's up, Martin? That's the little custom alien emoji that you get beside your name if you become a member. And there's level different levels of colors. Like it starts off as a gray one, then it turns into a green one, then eventually the longer you stay a member, it turns into a purple alien. Spencer Boy got it popping off, dude. Oh, hell yeah. We're ripping it old school, bro. On the Xbox 360, bro. But yeah, there is there is a lot of content creators that do that weird thing where it's like, you know that they're thinking something different when they're like reviewing a game or talking about something. You know in their head they're thinking something different, but it's like they're too scared to say it. It's like they're... They don't want to get involved in all that drama. You know, they don't want to get involved in... They think they're going to lose a subscriber or they're going to piss off a game developer. So then they they sacrifice telling the fans, the consumers, the actual truth, which I find to be the more important thing. But they sacrifice all that 
because they're too scared to say it. That's what it really is. And I had to come to that that crossroads even with my channel. You know, there was a time where I didn't really say a lot of negative things either. But then I was like, holy shit, this is fake as fuck. So then I had to change my ways. But a lot of YouTubers just don't, don't ever figure that out. There's times to be negative and there's times to be positive. There's times to be neutral. But... You know, I think a lot of people, they just cut off that specific side where you're really negative about something. They'll, they'll just never do it about anything. Sometimes you gotta, you gotta be that way or you're not even being truthful. And then you're kind of, you're kind of scamming your fan base. And I'm just glad to see a lot of people waking up to that, especially with Milestone. Whew. Yeah, I've lost a lot of subs by saying the things that I've said. <laughs> you know what I mean? But at the end of the day, I've also gained a lot of subs from being as real as I've been. So it's a, it's kind of an even trade-off, I feel like. But that's basically what turned me into the real, real talking boy. Because I didn't see anybody else doing it. And I was like, holy shit. As far as Moto games back like six, seven years ago, I didn't really see anybody, anybody else being real about it. So I was like, okay, all right. I got to put the boots on. Spindy boy got to be that guy. So that's how all that happened. And I can sleep at night knowing that I left it all on the mic. I said everything I meant. Said everything I was trying to say. I didn't scam you. I didn't hold anything back from you. I didn't keep anything from you. I didn't try to sugarcoat anything. I sleep good, baby. I sleep good, baby. All right, let's get on another track here. So some dude was wanting me to actually do a race, so let's see if we can do that. There is that really cool nighttime track on this game. Let's do it on this one. Uh, let's do like a three-lapper. Look at all the different uh, difficulties. Beginner, Junior, Novice, Intermediate, Pro Sport, Pro-Am, Pro, Legendary, All-Time, Pastrana, Galaxy Boy. Okay. Definitely All-Time. All right. What the? F we ain't riding ATVs. Okay. What's up, what's up, boys in chat? We back on the classic. I appreciate you boys tuning in. Can you actually jump? Oh, yeah, that's a big landing. That's a big landing. There we go. Yeah, I think at the end of the day, for a lot of YouTubers, it's just easier to not really be that negative. Like, it's just easier. You know? I, th I feel like that's what it comes down to. It starts getting complicated when you gotta actually think about when you're really being negative about something, you gotta be on the money with it. You gotta be saying, you know, really saying stuff that makes sense when you're being that negative about it. You know? And that takes more effort. You got to be on the money. When you're just positive about everything and you live in a neutral boy land, you don't really have to be as precise because you're being positive about it. So you're not going to really be like critiqued as much on it. But I think a lot of people are waking up to that. So it's good to see. Little Millsaps. Got Millsaps on my ass. All right. Oh, too much, too much seat bounce, brother. Shit. Well, too much seat bounce. Bro, that dude right there looks like he's got... Holy shit, I can't catch up. That dude right there looked like he had on the Chase Sexton uh, Michael Jordan gear. Did any of you guys see that? Let me see if I get caught up to that dude. 
I swear that's what it looked like. Oh, that's a triple. Like, I'm trying to remember all these jumps. Some of them you got a seat bounce on. Some of them you don't need a seat bounce on. It's kind of a crapshoot, kind of like flipping a coin when you come up to the jump face. I think he's right up there. Let me see if I can get up there to him. Let me see if little Spencey boy can pull something off here. We're only doing a three-lapper. That's a big jump, but do I seat bounce it? No. Okay, smart, smart. Okay, got these big old inside berms. Oh, shit. Thought that was going to reset me. Thank God it didn't. What's up, boys? Tuning into the stream. Spency boy making a comeback. We going on a run. You won't realize I'm making a comeback till like a couple months from now, but this is the start right here. That's a triple, little triple right there. These boys are on the gas. That's for sure. Boys are on the gas. Yeah, that's the worst thing about it, really, is the fact that a lot of these, you know, game companies, they'll pay all these YouTubers, give them early access, I'm popping off, and do all that so that they can make all those videos on the game to give more of a positive review or impression of the game before people like me can even get my hands on the game to even make videos on it. So they really are kind of tricking you a little bit with that shit. But, you know, I love that everybody knows that and that understands that. That's a really good thing. We turn a little bit of HUD on here. Options. Display. Is that what I'm trying to do here? Yeah, 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 yeah. We want... Uh, I just want... What is it? Score? No, not score. We want, like, position. Ranking? Is there just a position? I don't know if there is. Tells us the laps. Okay. Time behind leader. Okay. That should be good. But yeah, it's, it's as if some of these developers, it's like they know that there's going to be a lot of people making videos about how shitty their games are, so then they got to do that, you know? So they basically restrict all the people that's going to have a real opinion on it. They don't give any of those kind of people early access to anything. So then all those people click on all those videos of the new Supergross game, think that it's better than what it really is, they get scammed into buying it, then after it comes out, or right after it comes out to the public, then my videos come out, then you, then all you boys see the truth, and then it's like, oh shit, we wasted 60 bucks. So, yeah, that's been happening for a while now. Fancy boy back in 10th. Is that Chad Reed in 2nd? I had way too many pop-offs here. You got to know what you're doing. Even on the motocross tracks, on the jumps on this game, you really got to know what you're doing, man. And that, to me, is just like weird business practice to do shit like that. You know, if you stand behind your game and you think it's good enough, let the fans decide. Like, let, let everybody decide. You don't have to give all the early access to all the people that you know is not going to be negative. Like, you don't have to do all that if you make a really good game. You know, you don't, you don't even have to do that. It's like, there's a reason why they do that. <laughs> Let the game speak for itself, you know what I mean? Whoops, too much seat bouncing, too much seat bouncing. Yeah, it's like half the jumps you need to seat bounce, half of them you don't need to seat bounce. Interesting. Pinty boy out here in dead last. I remember the AI being actually pretty legit on this game. Pretty legit. So 
Spencer boy about to pull it in dead last right here. The whipping in this game is so interesting because you got to be careful and not whip too much or you'll pop off just like out of thin air, which they, they fixed that on reflex, which is a really good change where you can basically get the bike completely upside down slash beside you under it, all different kind of things. And you're not going to pop off on reflex just from being too leaned over, you know, you will pop off if you pop scrub too hard. Ever since I can remember, I've been popping my scrubs. Popping, popping my scrubs. Popping, popping my scrubs. <laughs> oh, dude. All right. Moving right along. Let's see what else we got on this thing, dude. We got mini moto, super moto. We'll do a little super cross. It was fun back in this game, too, man. I know some of these later tracks get really big on the jumps. Do like a five-lapper all-time. 12, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, shout-out to the two-time. So let me back up a little here. Let's see if we can hit the red jump to jump all the way to the jump face of that other one. Oh, that's a stretch, Daddy. Can I do it? Can I do it? Oh, I don't think I can do it. I can use the side of the jump to land, though. That's kind of fun. Yeah, see, back in these days, this was before they had updates to games. So if they didn't put it in the original disc version, you just shit out of luck. That's why they cared so much about making it right. Bug-wise, content-wise, the updates and shit with new games has really ruined everything because they think they can come out with some bullshit and then just patch it. Let's just patch it. Ugh. Modern gaming. Dang, that's some, that's some classic shit. <clears throat> some classic shit. I hope you boys are enjoying these streams as much as I am, dude. I love doing this right here. No, dude, no! I tell you what, the AI is savage. They'll bump you right off the track. I love it, though, dude. I've never been a big fan of the AI on the official Supercross games. Just feels kind of goofy to me. Um, there's something weird about it, like... It's like the, I don't know, it's like they're really easy to beat, but they're also really consistent. Like, as long as you pull the whole shot, you're going to win every time on a milestone game. Like, as long as you slow down, cut up the inside of the first corner, you're going to win every time. So, that's kind of like the cheat code to beat the AI. But if you don't necessarily get a start, it's like unbelievably hard to come back if they're on maximum difficulty. But they just ride weird, like, and the collision is weird. Never been a big fan of those, those AI in those games. Okay, this is a big rhythm right here. Can I even hit it? Oh, shit. Little over jump, little over jump. Mitch Payton got my suspension a little stiff. Okay, a little stiff. Got to get used to it. It's been a really long time since I've rode on any of these tracks. That's why I'm popping off like a bad boy. I think they go outside there. I need to like do a practice session on one of these tracks. And then that's the gear that looks just like the Chase Sexton, uh, Michael Jordan gear. That is interesting. That is interesting. Okay, and this right here, you can hit it from the inside and still triple this. It's a stretch. Then there's a jump to here. Then it's a quad right here. Okay. You can jump all that, but you don't want to over jump into the face of that because then you can't hit this. Okay, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. Smithy boy getting it. You can jump, I think, to that table. Okay, 
jump to here, but don't over jump into that. Then you can jump to there. I got to get my seat bounce down. Look at the skill gap though. Like even just for an arcade game, like imagine how different it is just being able to get around a track in this game, like a Supercross track versus just getting around a Supercross track on Supercross 6. It's like five times as hard on a game from 2007. <laughs> like hard in a good way though. Like it's some substance. It's some gameplay. You know what I'm saying? That's what, when you make the games too casual, they lose all the substance. They lose all of the make you want to come back and play it more. I think Milestone has definitely not learned the lesson on that one, for sure. You don't want to over jump. Like, every jump in this game, it's like, it's so easy to over jump and pop off. But also, once you get it down... It's not that bad. It's not like a simulator, you know. Once you get it down, you can kind of start vibing on it. But until that point, she's pretty tricky, you know. You can so easily over jump this when you're seat bouncing. <clears throat> Tough blocks. That doesn't help my case. Oh, shit. Dude, I'm going to have to go do some practice. <laughs> some people are going to have to practice a little. Well, yeah, let me, uh, let me get on practice here. Spencer Boy, I have to run some laps, learn the tracks again. Let's get on a different one, like this one. Practice. Yeah, 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 yeah. The AI be sipping straight on that lifting, dude. They sipping straight on that lifting. That's a little transfer. Then you can go from here to here. Yeah, I will be hosting some MX Sim and MX Bikes racing streams, dude. Promise you, it's all on the way, dude. Now that we got fiber at the crib, dude, it's all on the way, dude. It's all on the way, dude. Now we can run some practice laps, learn the track. I don't think this one's quite as difficult as that other one is. But, like, this is a... Uh, oh, T hitting good, dude. T hitting good, dude. I just... It's just crazy when you think about... These games felt like somebody actually played them. But, you know, the developers actually played the game and was like, okay, we're going to make the pop-off system like this. We're going to make the jumps like that. We're going to make the difficulty like this. It's like it all makes sense. It all makes sense. But it's not the case. You know, a lot of people might be thinking like, oh, well, the newer dirt bike games, they're way more advanced and skill gapped and difficult. And no, the hell they're not. <laughs> no, the hell they're not. This is like... One of the more skill-gapped, you know, arcade dirt bike games out there. Even though there's not a lot of mechanics, it doesn't necessarily have to have a lot of mechanics to have skill gap. You can have all the mechanics in the world and not have as much skill gap as this, a.k.a. Supercross 6. You know, it's got dual stick controls. It's got, you know, all that kind of stuff. But it, you just never pop off. And you just hold the gas down, and you don't have to even think about hitting anything. This game's got a certain, uh, like, impact feeling when you're... Dudes are on some tea! Ho! Oh, dudes be on some Lipton, bro. I mean, straight Lipton, bro. Dude came blowing through like, bro... He's been running practice laps on this track since this game came out, dude. <laughs> Smithy Boy just trying to get, get back in the swing here. Oh, man. That's so cool, though. So cool. 
when a game has a little bit of difficulty, it makes it to where it's just fun. It's like fun to try to master it. It's fun to try to figure out how to get around the track better. That's what keeps me playing a dirt bike game more than anything. I don't give a shit about graphics. I don't give a shit about like some silly little, you know, some other kind of feature. It's like, how much does that gameplay and that skill gap keep me engaged? That's what matters to the old Spency boy. Obviously, any super chat donations that I get, I'll read your message off on the stream and uh, obviously give you a shout out. Any memberships, obviously give you a shout out. Once I can build my members back up, we'll start having alien emojis all through the chat beside the names of the members. That's pretty kick ass, dude. Love it, dude. Now we're starting to feel it. Now we're starting to figure it out. We got a quad to there, and then it's... The jump faces are interesting because they are they have, like, different varying levels on the jump face. So, like, a little bit of character on the jump faces making it where at one spot, you if you hit it, like, just a little bit to the left... You, you wouldn't have to seat bounce, or if you hit it just a little to the right, you would have to seat bounce. <clears throat> so, it really, uh, that's something I think they played a, lo a lot more with in this game than they did MX versus ATV Unleashed, which was cool. Still no terrain deformation on this one, but uh, there is kind of visual, kind of those little visual looking ruts, but... No actual physical deformation. What's up, what's up, boys in chat? What it do, my dudes? I will say one thing about me uh, not really doing much for the last two years on YouTube. I got all the rest in the world. Spency Boy ready to go for the next ten years straight, dude. Spency Boy ready, dude. Holy shit. All right, let's get on another track here. Yeah, MX Sim, all that stuff I'm talking about, like skill gap and replayability and separating yourself, MX Simulator is the goat on that. Faux show. Let's do a little Enduro Cross. A little Enduro Cross. Cannot believe that they don't have Enduro Cross in the Super Cross games. Mm, crazy, ain't it? Crazy, ain't it, bro? Look crazy. This also had Super Moto, too. But that was back there around when Super Moto was like a thing in real life. Yeah, I'll quit this YouTube thing when I'm dead. That's when I'll quit. Spency Boy ain't going to quit because he gets tired. He ain't going to quit because of any, any other kind of reason. Because <clears throat> this is what I do. It's like, it's just what I do, man. Oh, shit. When it's what you do, then everything else doesn't really matter. You know what I mean? When it's your thing... Then nothing else really matters, dude. The money don't matter as much. Dude, look at the AI. Oh, dude. Look at the AI, dude. Just making me look like a scrub. Making me look like I've never played this game in my life. I will admit, it has been, like, quite a while since I played. Oh, there we go. A little super chat, bro. Yeah. Big shout out, big shout out, hold the phone, gotta hit the brakes, big shout out. I don't even know how to say your name, M-E-A-D-A-P-U-G-23, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that, $1.99, super, 
super chat. First super chat of the streams back, dude. Big shout out, dude. What's up, my dudes? He asked, favorite MX versus ATV that came out after a live. Okay. Um, came out after a live. Mmm, that is tricky, isn't it? It's definitely not MX vs. ATV Supercross. I mean, Encore is kind of different than just Supercross. Encore basically stole all the content from Alive, so you can't really... I don't know, it's kind of a different thing. Um, Spencey Boy making money out here. Shit, dog. Um, uh, dude, I don't know. You hit me with a question I don't really know how to answer. I mean, I guess I would say Legends... Like, if you're talking after a live, I guess I would say Legends, but it's not like Legends is super amazing or anything. It's just probably the best one since a live. That's the weird thing. A lot of people get tricked up. Like, when I talk about MX vs. ATV Supercross being the shittiest MX vs. ATV game, I'm talking about MX vs. ATV Supercross. I'm not talking about MX vs. ATV Supercross Encore that was like a, let's try to fix the original MX vs. ATV Supercross and steal all the content from Alive. That's not what I'm talking about when I say MX vs. ATV Supercross is the shittiest one. I'm talking about the base MX vs. ATV Supercross. Okay? That's where that whole confusion comes from. These... Boys think that I'm talking about Supercross Encore, or they just throw that in there, and that's not even what I'm talking about. Yeah, I would say Alive is better than any of the ones that came out after it, and Reflex was better than any of the ones that came out after that, after it. You know what I'm saying? Like, MX vs. ATV Supercross is just a... It's just a worse alive. That's all it really is. And MX vs. ATV Supercross Encore is just a worse alive. Like, I don't know any other way to explain it, but that is exactly what it is. Like, they should have just had all that Supercross content in the base version of Alive, then that would have been the, you know, decent game. But... Yeah, obviously, at the point when you got Encore and then you got all those live motocross tracks and you got all that stuff in there, then it kind of turned into something else. But <clears throat> I don't know if I can really count, like, I don't know if I can give Encore credit for taking the tracks from Alive. You know what I mean? That's kind of, I don't know if I can do that. Then they added the track editor to the PC version of Encore like the Steam Workshop support, you know. So it kind of got some more stuff to it there later on, but... Bro, shout out to the big dog in chat hitting me with that first super chat, dude. I appreciate that. That was the first super chat of me sh the last, like, three streams. Coming back. I appreciate it, bro. Let's see the different cameras here. I'm getting straight whooped. Let me see here. That's the far camera. We have a slot camera. We have another one. We got the first person camera. Bro... That's something where MX versus ATV um, Untamed really improved upon from Unleashed was the first person camera. I'm sure this is probably impossible to look at on YouTube. But uh, you also have this close camera, which is like this. I typically ride with the... Uh, the oh, this is the close one. Whoops. Yeah, you got the close one right here. I think that's a little too close. Then you got the nearer camera. That's the one I do. I usually run the nearer camera. Spencey boy got straight whooped. Straight whooped. 
Bro, I'm not finishing this race like that, dude. Let's get on another track. Okay, 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 bro. Dude, we gotta do a little mini moto. Let's do a little mini moto. We're going five laps all time. What can you... Yeah, you're forced to race with those, okay. Well, yeah, the AI in this game, basically... Look at Spencey boy. Um... Like, I wouldn't say they're, like, just impossibly hard, but, like, as long as you're hitting the jumps, you're going to be all right. But I, I can't even do that right now, so that's why we're going to the back. Oh, dude. Spency boy straight stunting. Spency boy straight stunting. You ain't got flames like that. Tuck my napkin in my shirt because I'm just mobbing like that. Oh. Bruh. Holy shit. Oh, dude. All right. Let's see what we can do here. Untamed was off the chain. Bruh, look at all these grown men. Getting ready for my uh, 50cc World Championship main event. <clears throat> oh shit, I always forget my clutch is on the other side. Oh, is that Pastrano? What the... F oh shit, boys, shit, boys. I saw 199, I got distracted. <laughs> Alright, let's see if the old Spence can do something here. Oh, bro. Try to actually focus on this, okay? Spency boy been kind of goofing off. Oh, shit, <laughs> dude. I can't... Straight chaos. All right, come on, come on. We're running in top five position, top five position, boys. Don't give up hope. Shit, I can't eat corner with this thing. Kind of all over the place. It is tricky controlling this little thing. Shit, dog. We sticking the leg out. Going through the whoops like a big hoss. Reed trying to take me out. He saw that video when I talked shit on him when he uh, held up Dungey when he was, uh, you know, a lapper. <clears throat> Okay, okay. He's still after me. Still after me. All right. Can I do anything here? Let's see. Yeah, this is one of those kind of things. If you got the AI on all time, you basically can't make a mistake. Like, if you pop off the bike, you're not going to win. You know, that's kind of what it is. Like, they're moving, dude. They're definitely moving, dude. These boys definitely uh, race 50cc bikes for a living. Ain't no doubt about that. That is interesting how this game had, like, the visual deformation. Kind of looks like there's ruts getting going. I didn't remember that it actually had that. But you can obviously clearly tell that it's not trying to be physical... Whereas Milestone kind of kind of teases you a little bit between those two different things. Dude, these guys are pretty quick. They know what line to hit. I'll tell you that for sure. I don't even know what I have my bike set up to. Dude, we're going to have to get, get to setting up the 50cc bike, dude. Oh, my lant. Need to uh, stiffen up the shock a little bit. Need to do a little two rebound to the front. Little, oh shit. Oh god. Let me bounce off of him. There we go. Spency boy bar banging. Spency boy 50cc bar banging, dude. We're getting it now, dude. It's triple, okay. Like shit, I, I don't even know what my bike's set up to. I didn't even look. 
We got Chase Sexton right here passing us. Yeah, take that, bro. Dude, I don't even care about winning. I'm just taking him out. Is that a... I think that was a... Davy Millsaps? Oh, shit, dude. Your body is so exposed on these 50cc bikes, it feels like. It's like... <laughs> It's like hard to not pop off from somebody landing on you because your your rider model is fully exposed. Dude, it is straight savage mode out here. What the f what's my bike doing? Yo, talk about fun though. Like, this feels like you're actually racing with real people that know what they're doing. That's kind of cool, man. That's really cool, man. Spencey Boy pulling it in. Top 10, dude. Top 10. Wow. This AI, though, dude. This AI, though, dude. <laughs> Let's try to set the bike up here. Let's go back. Let's go to the other track. Let's try to set the bike up a little bit. Uh, right here, dude. Look at it. Oh, dude. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. Performance and tuning. Yes, please. <clears throat> oh, shit. That's why I ain't doing nothing. Look at this shit. What do I go here, boys? More Excel on this thing or more speed? I know it's a super cross track. Definitely want to probably go a little harder on the suspension. Giggity. Tires a little... Maybe a little harder. Like that little uh like do i need top speed because it's momentum or do i need acceleration excel all right let's try the we'll do the excel route first okay all right all right all right got all that on cool all right let's try that out yeah i had it i have basically had it stock so this was back in the day when there was uh performance like tuning but you weren't like when you put the actual parts on the bike that wasn't doing anything that was just cosmetic then you were going in there and actually doing the tuning the reflex was the first one that did the performance parts on top of the tuning you know it's kind of two different things there get that purple gear bro all right, Spencey boy, let's focus, dude. Let's let's sip on that tea, dude. Come on, dude. Let's not run into the gate for once. Bro, these boys taking off. What the? That's brown. One ninety nine is brown. <laughs> like, what am I supposed to do there? What am I supposed to do there? All right, we're battling. We're bar banging. We're battling. Spencey boy in a podium spot. Spencey boy out here in a podium spot. The bike setup, more Excel does seem to be helping me here. So that's a plus. Okay, can we catch... Dude, just straight... You don't even have to give them a head start. Like, just beating the AI in general is a pretty big accomplishment here, I would say. Unless you're running, like, 69 laps, obviously. But we're just running the short, you know, like a five-lapper. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't know what I was doing there. Thought I was about to jump to that table. Oh, shit, dude, no. No, dude, no, dude. That's okay. These guys are crashing. They're crashing a little bit. All right, we're back in third. We got a battle out front. We got a serious battle out front. Between one and two. Bro, I'm hitting these jump faces so hard. This bike's just going straight up. All right, we could jump. Go to the inside here, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Got to start sweeping the corners in a little more. Sweep. Oh, what the? Dude. No. No! My suspension could not handle my weight. I wonder why. Oh, gee, I don't know. 
Bro, it's a battle, dude. Like, it, this is actually challenging. Now, obviously, if I sat here and, you know, did like 10 of these races in a row, I could probably get it, get it dialed. But just hopping back in here real quick like, it's actually got some challenge. Carry that speed around, all right. Can you whip on this thing? Oh, dude. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, 50cc is way too much power for me, apparently. Way too much. The flames add uh, 10 more horsepower. If you got flames on the 50cc bike, it's got secretly in, in the game, if you didn't know this, <clears throat> puts 10 more horsepower on the bike. Swear to Pastrana. There we go. That's it, Spencey boy. We're in second. We're in second. Lap three of five. Okay, that's that. That's a triple triple there. I I don't seat bounce that too much. Go inside here to jump this. Go inside here, jump this. Can't hardly get. Oh, that, yeah, we're not hitting the big jumps here. That's the problem. Shit. What's up, what's up, boys? Just tuning in. Untamed off the chain. He jumps kind of, bro, bro then you got toughies out in the, dude. What's up, what's up, boys? Just tuning in. We're taking her back to a classic. Spitzy boy throwing the whips. We might have the 50cc bike mastered by the end of this stream. Maybe. I'm not going to guarantee it. But we might. Okay, jump. Okay, okay. You can jump all the whoops in two jumps. Triple there. You might even be able to quad to the table. Okay. Okay. Let's go outside here. Can you go triple? Oof. That's a big jump. Maybe you could seat bounce that right there? I don't even know. Is this first place? Bro, I think this is the battle for the lead right here. Is it? Yeah, I think so. Dude, last lap, dude. Can I do it, dude? Do I have the skills? You know we're going for that takeout, baby. You know we going for that takeout, baby. Dooleys. Dooleys. Spency boy, got to throw the whip on the last lap, dude. It's all for the fans. Watch this right here. Oh, you little... You little rascal. You little rascal. Oh, he goes down, dude. Consistency pays off, dude. I'm telling you. There's that quad daddy. We're quad daddy and dude. Oh... We be quadding on our 50cc bike. Let's just get it to the finish line. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Spitzy boy getting nervous. Palms are getting a little sweaty. Sweating a little bit of tea out of my palms. Hold the phone. Come on, Spitzy boy. Come on now. Let's get her to the finish, buddy. Let's get her to the finish, buddy. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah, dude. We mastered it. We mastered it. Replay, dude, please. <clears throat> watch this. Just watch the skills. Just take your little gander. Bro, look at the whoop speed. Oh. Oh. 50cc champion, dude. GG. Oh, shit. Oh, that's funny. Okay. All righty. We got it, boys. We did it. Let's see what this super moto is all about. Let's see what we got going on here. There's this one that has the dinosaurs on it. Kind of like that unleashed free ride map. Let's see if we can do a little bit of this. Uh, I think I need some more top speed, though. 
Let's see. Let me go a little top speed. You guys want to see my setup? Don't look. Hide your eyes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I've already got it a little bit top speed, but I think I could go a little more. I think we could go like up in here. Already got my suspension stiff. Okay. Let's see if we can win one of these, dude. We're the 50cc champ. We're about to be the supermoto champ. Trophies. So crazy how the whip system is on this. Yeah, I got my setup from Mitch, dude. Yes. Wait, wait, did that say difficulty easy? What the? Hold the phone, hold the phone. I gotta make sure this is on all time. I thought I saw easy difficulty. It's on all time. I don't know why I was seeing that. Let's see if it does it again. Sup, sup, boys. I appreciate all of you sticking around in the stream. Hold oh, that, a jump, daddy. Yes, sir. Oh, the track difficulty. Okay, okay, I see. Yeah, that uh, confused me a little bit there. Look at old Spencey boy. You know, he been 420 blazing. Okay. Oh, dude, changes the tires and everything. Look at that. Okay. Okay. Easy. Easy, boys. Easy, boys. No, it's not being easy. Okay, let's see what we can do. Okay, got to go between these. Dude's going to hit the wall. <laughs> oh, sucks to set. Later, nerd. All right. Can Spencey Boy do this, dude? We got three laps to make it happen. We got three laps to make it happen. You know we're whipping on these two-foot jumps. You already know. Dude knew to back off a little. He knew to back off a little. Oh, dude, look at him. He thinks he's something. Oh, shit. My tire's got too much grip, baby. We got too much grip. Let her rip, tater tip. These boys are battling. Look at the sparks. This dude out front knows what he's doing. Okay. Straight battling. Look at this. Ah, uh, whoops. Went for the takeout a little too hard. Okay. I just tried to use that dude as the berm. <clears throat> you know what I mean? If you know Moto Games, you know what I'm talking about right now. Okay, we're still in it. I know it may not seem like it, but the leader is right there. Do you go full top speed on these? I don't know if that's the move or not. Kind of seems like it might be. I'm not quite full top speed. We're like 69% top speed. Turn, Spency boy. Turn that thing, Spency boy. Okay. Oh, shit, dude. Don't wreck me, dude. Get your ass out of here. All right. Now we got him right here in our sights. Spency boy got him in the crosshairs. Okay, let's see if we can do it. We got Chase Sexton out here leading. <clears throat> I'm definitely not cutting these corners and drawing these corners quite like I should be. I know that for sure. I think full top speed might be a little overkill. Definitely seat bounce that. Make those sparks fly, baby. That's crazy. It actually feels like the bike has more grip with the tires. That is cool.
Yeah, everybody's a Barsha, uh, AI-wise, on these games. Even on Reflex, like when you put them on all time and you get around the AI, dude, they're Barsha in every corner. I'm telling you. Spencey Boy straight pro lap times right now, dude. Look at this. Look at how I'm drawing these corners up, baby. Look at my lines. Don't copy my lines, bro. They're too good. I'm telling you. They're too good, man. Basically, the way to do it, if you really want to have a race, you pretty much just let them all go, and then you try to pass everybody. That's when it gets challenging. If you just rip the whole shot, I mean, it's probably not going to be that tough. But with how much the AI will try to run into you, it really makes it interesting. It's not like they're crazy fast, necessarily, on all time, but they're savages. Spencey Boy out here mastering the Supermoto in the first race. I'm kind of getting the feel for the game again all the way around. What's up, David? What's up, bro? And still looking at chat? What's up, Minion? What's up, bro? Damn, I'm seeing a lot of you old school dudes. What's up, what's up, my dudes? The dub. The dubski. Okay, now I think I'm ready for an actual, like, some sort of a motocross race here. Let's see if I can pull it off. I'm going to, well, yes, I love this track. I love this track. But let me do a little bit of adjusting on my uh, top speed. L puppy back in the chat, dude. What's up, bro? Let's get it back here about like it's right here. You know what I'm saying, bro? You gotta love how it's like you gotta just guess. Like there's probably like 69 different little spots this little square thing can, this little cube can be in. But it's like you gotta just guess where it's at. That's kind of cool. Okay. All right. Let's see if I can actually win a motocross race. That'd be fun. Be kind of fun. Yeah, I plan on streaming everything soon. Yeah. I know a lot of you guys have been asking me about that. When are you going to stream MX Bikes? When are you going to stream MX Sim? When are you going to stream this game? It's on the way, bro. It's all on the way, bro. Okay. Big shout out to the dude in chat that uh, <clears throat> sent me a super chat. Appreciate it, dog. Means the world. All right, let's see if we can do something here. I know this track is tricky. It's a tricky track. Why is my bike moving? Oh, shit. That's not what we wanted. That's not ideal. Let's see if we can pass everybody and win. That'll make it interesting. Just got to stay off that tough block right there. Jump into the tree. Spency Boy, the tree jumper, Tarzan. Carry the speed around. Oh, Spence. Okay, there's a triple. I thought that was a triple. Where, 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 where? Oh, we good, baby. We good, baby. By the way, if you want to get in the Discord, all you got to do is DM me on Instagram at Spencer Turley, no spaces and no capital letters. What the hell are all these objects out here? Let me know you want to get in the Discord, and I will get you in there. And if you, uh, just letting you know, all of you guys that are already in my Discord, all you got to do is uh, be looking at it and unmute the Discord, because I'm going to be back in there playing all those games like I used to. Holy shit, El Puppy Jr. with the damn $4.99 Super Chat. He says, keep putting on for the hood, we need you. <laughs> Bro, big shout out to El Puppy, dude. Damn, dude. Appreciate that super chat, dude. We putting on for the... I put on for my city. On, on for my city. I put on. Yo, I appreciate that, dog.
By the way, that's the exact price of my memberships. $4.99, that helps me out the most of anything. So, bro, we run in the top five. We run in about a top five, bro. I'll try to return the favor to you, L Puppy, if I can. Do you even stream? I don't even know. But if you do, I'll try to try to tune in. Let's see. Can I? Yeah, yeah. We need to go inside here. Oof! That's a kicker. See, it kind of creates the little kicker vibes on the... What's up, Chandler? What's up, big dog? Creates the little kicker vibe when the jump face is a little bit higher up in certain spots. Oh, shit. Okay. This is kind of tough, I'm not going to lie to you. Definitely when you're only running three laps, you got to be putting in work. Putting in work. Oh my God, I'm getting outran right now. Look at this. And I'm on the gas. <laughs> like It ain't like I'm letting off the shit. I can promise you that. Oh, shit. But then it's those little mistakes like that. But these boys are moving out front. I mean, they are moving. They're cutting the corners down the right kind of way. Like right here, I probably need to go like far inside. Scrub daddy that. Go right here. What is this? Just like a double? Oh, it's kind of a triple over the table. Okay, cut that up short a little bit. Carry all the speed. Gotta be careful not fall off the bike right there. Damn, we're in seventh. This is tough. This is tough. Got some pre-made inside berms. Okay. Pre-made inside berms. All right. Bro, this is like... You basically gotta be perfect. <laughs> Pretty much. If you, like, crash off the start... Oh, damn. If you crash off the start, you know, and you gotta pass everybody like I did, you pretty much have to be perfect at, the, at that point on a three-lap race to win. That's about where the, the AI difficulty is. Like, if you pull the whole shot, then you don't necessarily have to be perfect, but if you get a dead last start, then you do have to be perfect to catch back up in that amount of time. See, I need to be jumping over that. Um... Messing that up a little bit to then triple that. Yeah, we're going to triple over that little little rhythm jump and then triple there. All right, let's see if old Spency boy can pull this off. We definitely are not getting the win. Oh, wow, dude, this, this AI, dude. Wowzers. There's a lot of... Look at the momentum. She, buddy. Little seven jump into the rollers. She. Oh, there I go again. What the? F Whoops. This has got this track right here is pretty crazy. The layout of it, like there's so many jumps that you basically got to be turning up the jump face. They don't make them like this anymore. They just don't make them like this anymore, bro. Bro, we're pulling in for the top 10. Bro, it's tough out here, dude. This AI been play, Dude, this AI been playing the game since 07, baby. Spitzy Boy just coming back. We're trying to knock the rust off. There it is. God dang. I mean, holy. Like, dude. Let's see if I can even win one. I don't... Shit, I don't even know. Let's pop off on, like, some of... Oh, I love that nighttime track, baby. I love that nighttime track, baby. Let's try to do it on this one. Okay. I should race Sim tonight. 
<laughs> Bro, I wish. I really wish. I just went through so much of the, just the weird RF changing and the tracks being different and the, it just killed something. I don't know how to explain it, but hopefully we'll be back to pro racing on sim sometime soon. I still plan on doing that at some point. So this track is apparently easy too. Should have stayed on the 50 shit. Whoops. True. True. El Puppy asks, what's my favorite motocross game right now? Well, I'm just now getting back into even being able to play multiplayer because <clears throat> I haven't even really been able to do that because my internet's been shit for like two years. So we're just now getting back into that too. So I can't even really answer that right now, but I don't even know. I'm having a lot of fun with these older ones right now. Be honest with you. Oh, that is a triple? Good golly. Look at these jump faces. Like, obviously, MX Sim is always part of my uh, program, you know what I'm saying? Okay, jump to there. Look at the jumps. Bro, we skying it out, dude. Spency Boy in dead last. See, all it takes is one crash, and then the AI just, like, runs away with it, you know what I mean? I don't even think Reflex's AI is probably not even half this hard. Like, that's crazy. That would have been awesome if Reflex's would have been like this. Like this hard, you know? Oh, dude, T's hitting good, dude. Oh, there it is, dude. Look at the berms. Just like wide open. Can I triple? Dude. Bro, I'm having too much fun, dude. Oh, you can jump to that little... Holy shit. Even though this game is pretty old at this point, I'm telling you, like, the rhythm jumps and the complexity, it's like, it's still there. It's still there. I'm probably going to get lapped. Probably going to get lapped. Dude. Shit. Yeah, if I make the two-stroke sounds, I'll go fast. Bring! Damn, damn, damn. Why did I go 32 to 1? What the? F oh, that's a triple, daddy. A little low, J. A little too, too much. Dude, I made the noise and I went over jump, dude. Shit. Oh, my God. These jumps. I'm telling you, these damn milestone games got me all fucked up. I come back to this and I feel like I'm like jumping to the moon on everything. Thanks, Milestone. Appreciate you, dog. This is the jump to the table. Oof. Just that alone is something. All right, all right, dude. We're getting smoked. We're getting smoked. Oh, my God. Wow, dude. This track is... Did it say this track was easy? Is that what that said? Or was that on something else? I don't know what it said about that, but this shit ain't easy. This is like what I would consider Pastrana difficulty. A little shout out to the old school Spency Boy fans. This is like a triple. There we go. Look at the time you... Oh my gosh, that's why I'm so far behind. You make up 12 seconds on every jump. Shit, dog. Uh, a little pop, a little pop, probably gonna pop off. Yes, sir. T sipper predictor. We're doing it out here, brother. You can actually seat bounce the whoops, too, if you didn't know that in this game. You just gotta do it real quick, like. 
Okay, that, you want to let off a little so you don't pop off there. You got to be real careful there. Is this a big jump? Oh, shit, of course, the one I seat bounce. Still got a little bit of a landing. That's the one you don't want to... Okay, we're good. We're good. Went your boy good. That's the, that's the mother that I love right there. That's the one. That's the jump I can't figure out. I'm like... And then it then it makes this really tricky. Okay, we're good, we're good. This one, you just gotta have the speed to get up on here. Need to be, need to be jumping, what do we jump, over that? I don't know. Spency boy getting, I'm probably gonna get lapped in a three lap race, bro. Oh, bro. Who would have thunk it was a pro untamed race? Might as well throw some whips. It's all I can do, apparently. Definitely can't win. Certainly can't win. A lot of momentum carrying going on in this game. What? Would you call that off track? I wouldn't call that off track. That was like a hot line right there, dog. They're popping off, son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, Dude, you go back to this, and it's like, oh, yeah, this is what jumps are in an arcade dirt bike game. Yeah, I forgot. It's crazy, man. Crazy, man. Dude, asking chat, what's my thought on Legends at this point? Compared to this? That's a weird comparison. Um, hmm... You know, I haven't played a whole, whole lot of uh, Legends after those new updates. That's I can't even exactly answer that. But this one's always going to be way more classic, obviously. Dude, I, I'm hoping to, like, not finish in last. Surely finish last. Last. Now look at this. Let's do a little bit of this. A little bit of this. Okay. What's up, Keegan? Appreciate you tuning back in for another stream. Yeah, that was a bad call by the game, dude. We need to sue the refs. That's the only unfortunate thing about this game is when you whip like that, you know, and you get too far over the wrong way, it just pops you off. That would It would have been a lot better had it been more like Reflex, where it just lets you rotate how you want to. This track is bright as shit, dude. Looks like I'm in snow. What? We might have to go to a different track. I don't know. This one's bright AF. Can you boys even stand that? Like... Okay, let's see what we got here. Track's super bright. We're on some dry, hard pack conditions, boys. Dry, hard pack conditions, boys. Yeah, that's a flashbang. Let's go to a different one. Let's go to a different one. Okay. Copper Valley. All right, surely to goodness. I think I can remember the jumps on this one. Surely to goodness. Hell yeah, Spencey boy, there we go. Yeah, we gotta put our shaded goggles on. Gotta put our shaded goggles on. This one's kinda like that. This one's a little bit like that. Good golly. Some of these tracks are way brighter. <laughs> like, way brighter. Look at that. God bless. This one's kinda the same way. I remember this game being a little bit like that. Like, I have to end up going a little bit darker than I would think in my head on uh, settings. Like, not as bright. It's not too bad when you're not facing the sun on this one. I 
But yeah, I'm still testing some of my settings as far as graphical stuff. So if we ever stream this game again, it'll be less bright. That one, you got a seat bounce perfect. So basically with any of my streams or videos or any of that, like I always add a certain amount of brightness and saturation. It's just different levels depending on what game it is. But that's what it is. It's a little bit brighter and more saturation. Because otherwise it would look like dog shit. Like if I just left this default normal, it would look like dog shit on YouTube. This is a little overkill for this track, but... But what it'll probably do is if we go to the nighttime track, that's what we need to do. We need to go to that nighttime track. That one will look really good with these settings. Let me let me get on that. It's, uh, what is it? Uh, what the hell is the name of it? This one. Yes. Okay, we're winning this race. We're winning this race. You hear me, boys? I'm putting a gallon of tea on it. We're winning this race. Come on, Spency boy. Come on now, Spency boy. Don't sweat the tea out yet. Come on now. Come on now, brother. Big shout out to El Puppy for the uh, super chat. Love to see it. Okay. Looky there. Looky there. Why don't you take a little gander right there? Now, see, if I didn't have it with the settings set, this would look a little dark right now. All right. Let's focus in. Oh, shit, that's a seat bouncer. Get off of me, dude! Come on, Chase Sexton, dude. Get off of me, bro. That's always what happens. Like, I'll come up just a little bit short on a jump, then somebody will just clobber me, bro. All right, let's try to catch back up here. Okay, if we focus in, we should be able to do this. Bro, I tell you, I don't even know if I have enough top speed on this bad boy. I think some of these guys are just outrunning me, like, momentum-wise, top speed-wise. You know what I'm saying? We're going to stay low to the ground, though. We're going to hit the good lines, dude. We're hitting the good lines, dude. Get the fuck out of my way, dude. Move! Oh, shit. <laughs> no! No! It's like... You're screwed if you seat bounce on something you're not supposed to, but if you don't on the spot you're supposed to, you're also screwed. So you basically just have to know every jump on the track to a T. If you know what I'm saying. <clears throat> T. This one, little seat bounce... It's like I've got to re-remember right where the jumps are, seat bounce-wise, and then I'm good. Once I get that, I'm straight. No seat bounce there. Seat bounce there. Seat bounce here. Okay. Pro, these dudes are gnarly. This AI is gnarly. When I say no mistakes, I'm, I'm not playing around, dude. It takes no, no popping off can be had at all if you want to win the race. Like, at all. If you pop off, you might as well just restart because you're not going to win. Okay, this is the one I... But you got to get up over that to carry the speed for this. Okay, that's a seat bouncer right there. And then we just... Okay, that's a spot to make up some time. Kind of cut through both of those corners right there. This one's a seat bouncer. Somehow I missed it. Bro, I'm running an another race on this one. Shh, look at this AI, dude. Let's pop the restart. Let's see if I can do it on a restart. 
I lost one gallon of tea, dude. What's up, Hunter? Okay. I mean, these boys be sweating that lifting out, dude. They be sweating that lifting out, dude. Let's actually remember to seat bounce this puppy. Oh, you look at him trying to land on me, dude. I swear they do it on per. What? 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 Dude! It's every time, bro. What the? Like, what am I supposed to do right there? Oh, whoops. I accidentally didn't hit the jump where the, the base is like two inches taller, so I get screwed. Let's just keep restarting, dude. Just restart, dude. <clears throat> they can't beat me if I keep restarting. You know what I mean? Pro tips, guys. Pro tips. Like, oh my gosh. Chad Reed out here pulling the whole shot. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Dude, am I just getting, like, outran top speed-wise? Uh, there's got to be something here. These boys are on modified bikes. I'm on some bullshit, apparently. That's what it feels like. I mean, I've got the bike... You know, not full top speed. We're like 69% towards top speed. You would think that's about where you'd put it on a wide-ass open motocross track. I think you can triple that right there. Okay, we're somewhat alive here on this one. We're somewhat alive here. Pop up over that. Pop over that. I think you can cut this inside like this. And you really got to seat bounce it. Okay, fancy boy's getting it. There we go. We got something cooking up here. If you got to draw that corner out a little bit wider, it's kind of hard to even hit this. That's a hell of a finish line jump if I've ever seen one. Look at them, dude. They're just better. They're just better. Like, I need more skills. I need more Mitch Payton tuning. I need more everything. Shit, then I, I do shit like that. Then I'm really screwed. Yep, yep. But, like, I'm on the gas. Like, I'm not letting off the gas. <laughs> it is on, bro. Like, trust me, it ain't that. Yeah, I'm messing up on some jumps and shit, but, like, I'm on that gas, brother. Would we try more top speed? Or is it just kind of lugging the bike a little much? So I'm actually needing more Excel. I can't tell. I can't really tell what it's what it needs. If I had to guess, I would think more top speed, but maybe some of these jumps would be easier with more acceleration. Like hitting from these more pro inside uh, lines. Trust me, we wide open, brother. I mean, wide open. Oh, fuck. Why do I keep seat bouncing that? Dude, we gotta, we gotta do some tuning. We gotta get here and do some tuning. Did I ever change my bike? Yeah, yeah, I did change it back from the Supermoto. Let's try to do that. Let's try to uh, put it like I had it on the Supermoto. That's uh, Crawley Creek A. There's, there's a different one. We'll do this one. Okay. So we're on a little bit of a different track here. So that's what we're looking at, boys. So would we go like up in here? Or would we go more like back stock? Like I don't even know. I don't even know, bro. Like, we gonna go right here? What do you guys think? More towards Excel, like stock? Or, like, I don't want to go any more Excel than right down the middle on a track like that, that wide open. Let's just try this. Let's just try this. Let's see if this does anything. 
MLG is saying somewhere in the middle. You might be right. You might be right. I just always feel like stock is, I don't know, I get sketched out. I feel like I'm on a stock bike when I run stock tuning. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean, bro? Oh, hell yeah. Little Travis Pastrana. Little, little quick little backflip real quick. Look at me go. Look at me go. Can you get this game on Steam? I don't think so. I think this is uh, not on PC at all. This one and Alive are the two that you just can't get on PC. But you can get them both on the Xbox 360. That's, you know, another, re another reason to still have an Xbox 360 sitting around. Let's see if my top speed does anything here. Oh, maybe. My, oh, dude. <laughs> oh, dude. This track feels like the same track. Does it split off somewhere else? Go somewhere else? I don't know. I need to hit that from the outside, but then not seat bounce. Let's see what we got. Race on the 50. Yeah, that might actually help my case here. What the fuck? All right. Let's see what we can do. I know you can triple this, but I'm not going to do it. We're staying on the ground. Okay, this is the one that opens up right here. Is this a triple? It's got to be something big. I knew it. I saw him jumping in front of me. Spency boy got the big brain now. Spency boy got the big brain now. Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? I'm not off the track. Bro, they don't even let me do that. They don't even let me do that. I think this jump right here is big as shit, too. Oh, yeah, it is, daddies. Oh, my gosh. I could actually remember that one a little bit. Okay. All right. Now we got these jumps down. <sighs> this is tough. This is like wearing me out a little bit tough right here. That says a lot for an arcade dirt bike game. But instead of me being like, I can't play the game, it's too hard, I figure out how to play the game. You know what I mean? You get better at the game, you know? It doesn't have to be made for casuals. Just get better at the game, dude. That's what you got to do. And then it turns into actual gameplay. Then you got to go in there and tune your bike and do shit, you know? When you get on uh, Supercross 6, who gives a shit what you do with the tuning? Who even cares? It don't even matter. Whereas this shit, like, if you got your tuning off, good luck, brother. Like, I kind of think this more top speed is actually helping me here. I really do. I just need to learn how to carry it a little better. All right, we're just sticking to the double-double right here, and then triple. Can you even over-jump this? I don't know. I don't think so. So we're just doing full seat bounce. Okay, we got it. We got it. See, I'm able to carry just a little bit more speed with all this top speed. This jump right here is Mac Daddy, but you can hit it from the inside. Dude, full seat bounce to barely land, dude. <laughs> Savage, bro. Savage. Okay, now we're running with these boys a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Now we're running with these boys a little bit. I knew it was more top speed. I knew it was. So now if I can run this pace without crashing at all, I might have a chance to win. That's what it's going to take to win. That is crazy, dude. Don't pop off. Don't land on me. All right. 
I don't know why them boys are going way to the left right there. That's kind of crazy. What's up, what's up, boys in chat? Smitsy boy getting whooped on Untamed, dude. This AI is legendary. It is straight legendary. We mastered the 50cc bike. We mastered the super moto. Now we're trying to just win a motocross race. It's challenging, dude. It's like that jump right there. It's right at that point where you, it's almost like you just need to do a little bit of a seat bounce. Not a full seat bounce. Kind of gets into that little tricky little system. Boys, I appreciate the shit out of you tuning into my streams. Appreciate you. Bro, this is crazy. This is legit crazy. We're popping off here. JK, LOL. Like, this is crazy, dude. I'm just chilling in eighth. Let's go up the inside here. Spencer Boy jump into the moon real quick. Inside berm. Okay. Okay. We got it. We got we're almost on a top five. We're taking baby steps. Baby steps, boys. We're almost on a top five here, boys. I think this is the setup, though. I will say that, at least as far as top speed and acceleration. Seems to be working pretty good with the momentum in the corners and the how wide open this shit is. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I looked at chat. I did it for the fans, dude. All right, let's 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 go to a different track. We'll see if we can do it. Do not buy Supergrass 6. Dog water. Okay. Let's try this one. We're just going to keep going until we win one. Let's see if I can even do it. Spencey boy struggling. Oh, shit. There's a whip. Yeah, when you're throwing the whips in this game, you're trying to balance like... You're trying to get it as far over as you can, but not instantly pop off in the air. It's kind of a tricky little thing. Okay, this one's just normal difficulty. Maybe I can survive. Just maybe. Don't don't count on it now. Bro, I just love the... Like, I know a lot of people would consider this bad graphics now, but, like, I think it looks cool. I think it's got, like, a cool old school... You gotta respect it, you know what I mean? Do we seat bounce here? Thank God I didn't. Gonna try to seat bounce there. Ooh. What's up, sup, boys in chat? I'm looking at chat, I promise. We're just trying not to get smoked again. Oh, that's a triple daddy. If I've ever seen one. All right. We're in fourth. We might have something cooking here. Look how wide open. This has to be the most wide open motocross track I've ever seen. This one, you might be able to get away with going full top speed. I figured there might be some on here that were kind of like that. That's a triple. These jumps are so monster, dude. These jumps are so massive. These berms are so massive. It's everything. It's the berms. It's the jumps. It's the everything. Yeah, like you're wide open and you're still not able to hit shit. You got to be wide open and carrying the perfect momentum through the corner and have your bike tuned properly. There's like literally three different things that you got to do at once to even hit the shit. That's some gameplay, dude. That is some gameplay, dude. And it's like, if you barely mess up, you're definitely not hitting the next jump. Hell no. You know, the Supercross 6, you can mess up completely and just lean back and just get through the rhythm. 
or the jump or whatever it is. This is not like that at all. You got to be so precise here. And you would you might think in your head it, you're just wide open and you hit everything perfect, but that's not really the case. It's it's more complex than that. Oh my god, look at that jump. Got to seat bounce that. Got to seat bounce that. We're running top 5, but these boys look how far they are ahead of me. Oh, shit. And then you do that once on a jump you're not supposed to, and then that happens. So they're still... They, they did a really good job with this game where they they made the jumps just enough of them where you don't need a seat bounce, just enough of them that you do need a seat bounce. It's like it keeps you thinking. You know what I'm saying? And then on the ones that you don't really have to seat bounce, then it's, okay... How far inside can I go in the corner to be able to, and then seat bounce the jump? I didn't have to seat bounce. How far inside can I go? Bro, we're restarting. Oh my God, dude. <laughs> dude. This is savage AI. I mean, dude. This is an awesome track, though. Not going to lie to you. I like this a lot. This is just a normal difficulty track, uh, according to MX vs. AT. <laughs> this is just a normal difficulty track, guys. Not even hard difficulty, apparently. Like, you couldn't be no little casual boy back in these days and win an all-time race. You just couldn't do it. Like, at all. It's got that feeling like you want to sit there and just restart if you don't pull the whole shot, or you crash right off the bat. Of course, if you're running like a, you know, a 10 plus lap race, yeah, you could still catch up, but we're talking like these shorter races, like a like a three-lap moto cross track race or a five-lap super cross uh, track race. You know, kind of about like that. Is this a seat bouncer? Uh, not super. Look at the berm. Spencey Boy railing. We're cutting through the in between the berms. Look how fast. Oh, my God. Dude. Dude, wow. And then you combine that, you, you know, you just barely kiss your uh, rider model up against some dude's bike and you're going to pop off instantly. It ju it's just fun. Like, this is fun right here to me. Like, this makes me want to sit down here and just play this till I get it. Get it down, you know? That's a triple. Now you see why I say all the things about the Milestone games being way too easy. Now you see why I say that. And, you know, I feel like Milestone, they try to use the excuse of, well, we're just trying to make it for everybody or some of those other bigger moto YouTubers, you know. They try to look at it like, well, they're making it for all the Supercross kids, that, you know, the younger kids that are really wanting to play the Supercross games. Uh... But this was also an arcade dirt bike game that everybody had fun with back in the day. And it's like 10 times the skill gap. So that whole entire thing is complete bullshit. It's a lazy excuse for Milestone making their games like they do. That's all it is. This is skill gap for people that want to have that challenge. But it's also easy enough to get around a track. You know, it's not like impossible to get around a track. But you just got to be thinking about what you're doing. And the AI is actually difficult enough if you have them maxed out. It's going to be a legit challenge. You got to be good, man. You got to be... You got to be on it. That triple right there. Oof. Can you quad there? I don't know. And then triple there. Oof. Dude, every time I hit these jumps, I'm just like... Okay, I'll see the ground in a couple years. 
that jumps like a medium seat bounce. Not full, but not no seat bounce. That triple is super sharp. There's an inside berm there. That triple's like a full seat bounce. Bro, this is so next level. This is so next level, dude. This is, whew, like it's wearing me out. That's how awesome this is. Makes me feel like I've actually rode a real life moto. Come up one inch short, dude, you're dead. Wow, dude. A lot of character on this track, too. Oh, Spence, not there, not there, dude. What's up, what's up, boys in chat? I am reading chat, I promise you. It just, this game is taking all of my focus right now to even get around the track. Does cl Is clutch boosting even like a thing in this game? I don't even know. Dude, you could probably triple to that. There, and there's like even bigger jumps. Like I'm not even hitting the the Mac Daddy, you know, the really really big Daddy. Like we're not even hitting that. We're just like hitting the normal shit. But is clutch boosting enough of a thing where it's like a thing where you, when you land, is it? Obviously, it's gonna boost you from a complete stop. But like, is it really gonna help you off of jump landings? It's like a live. I don't, is it quite that, that much? It doesn't really feel that way, but maybe. I haven't done enough testing on it. Well, yeah, like if you had max top speed, you could probably jump that right there even further. Bro. Oh my gosh. Dude, I'm going, bro, I'm going full top speed. Bro, bro, bro. We're going full top speed. Hold the phone. Full top speed, dude. Let's see. <sighs> this is crazy. Okay, full top speed. Alright. Let's see what we can do on this, man. Dude asking chat if I still ride slash race a lot. I don't, what are you talking about? Real life? I'm assuming that's what you're talking about. Uh, no, I've not rode a real life dirt bike in like, feels like it's been forever, but it's been a while. Been a while, but I want to get back into it, man. Just had to get some other stuff straight in life before then. Oh, dang. What's up? All right, we got full top speed. This is a wide open track. We're talking majorly wide open. We seat bounce here. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we might be on to something here, boys. Bro, it, what, did he just do a trick? What a fucking savage. I think he just did like a trick over that little jump. Oh, dude, when I'm in the front, I can't see how far they're jumping in front of me. Oof. We're going to just have to guess. I'm just glad to be out front, dude. Spencey Boy's out front. It's it's a miracle. Spencey Boy out front of a moto race. It's a miracle right now. Do I seat bounce this? Shit. Oh, no. Okay. Most of the jumps so far on this track are not really seat bouncers. This is like a less extreme version of that one we were just on, basically. But the jumps are still huge. They're just not as extreme as that. I mean, these dudes are still hauling absolute ass, though. We have full top speed, so they can't possibly have any more top speed than what I'm running. I mean, dude, like, holy crap. 
Okay, that's like a... What the? That's a little slow spot. That's a little slow spot. Can I even win a race, dude? Whew! Can I even win? Just one, baby. That's all I need. Damn. That's all I need right now, dude. Just one win, dude. We just need one motocross win right now, dude. That's probably a triple from the bottom, but you don't want the air time. We got Chase Sexton out front, and I mean in front of us. Did we hit the berm? I don't know. This is definitely a wide open track. That is for damn sure. Bro, they're just outrunning me. Look at that. Look at that. I mean, they are wide open. Like, fully modified, wide open, perfect tuning bikes. That's what it feels like I'm racing against right now. Oh, shit. Oh, and then that's all it takes, and you're definitely not winning. Restart. Restart. <laughs> this is so crazy, bro. So crazy, bro. I just can't believe it, dude. Let me pause this real quick. I got to plug my phone in. Hold on just a second. So I'm looking at the live chat on my phone. So shit's about to die, dude. Hold the phone, literally. All right. Fancy boy getting it. Fancy boy getting it. There we go. Dude, I'm like getting deep into this right now. <laughs> Dude. Like, good golly. I just want to win one race, baby. That's all I need. One, one, one moto win, dude. That's it. One moto win. Is this a no seat bouncer? What the dog shit? Okay. Yeah, this is like the more beginner, you know, easier, quote unquote, easier track in the game. Those boys are going inside right there. That's losing a little time there for sure. Can jump there. I mean, these boys are just carrying the speed. Like... I think they're swinging around a little bit more than I am. Just a little, like they're just kind of sweeping the corners just a little more to keep the momentum up. I can be a little smoother on that, I should be should be a lot better off. Okay, can you triple? I don't think you no, there's no way you're tripling that. Yeah, these old tracks are legendary, dude. I mean just outrunning me. Look at this. I got full top speed, bro. Like it feels like my bike is maxed out. Like, completely maxed out. I am on a uh, 252 stroke. That might be part of it. Was the was the four strokes actually better in this game by this time? I, I don't know. I can't remember, but that may be my whole problem. On the motocross track specifically. I don't know. This was still kind of back when the two strokes were popping off. I'm on a uh, 252 stroke, though. I know if you go back to, like, Unleashed, that's definitely wouldn't be where the four strokes would be the clear-cut, fastest bikes in the game, but I can't remember on this one exactly. Like, they, they just outran me. They just outran me. We're going to have to go to a four... Let's, let's try it. Let's just try it. Let's just try it. There's got to be something. I mean, there's got to be something that I'm missing here. Okay, that's split oak A. Well, let's get on a four stroker. Do I have any bot? Bro, I probably was like two stroke all the way. There's one. I got the Yammy Hall. 
Looks like we're going to have to go Yammy Hall, 450. Uh, what kind of skins are... Let's see. Bro, let's just be a savage real quick. I kind of like the little pro circuit on the Yamaha. We'll leave the hand guards on, baby. Hell yeah. Okay. Okay. What the? It Did it keep my tuning from the two-stroke? Oh, maybe because the performance tuning is separate than the... Hmm. Does that just keep it on... Like, no matter what bike you go to, it keeps your tuning the same? Kind of what it seems like, unless you're on... Unless you go to, like, a whole different vehicle. All right, we on the four smoker. Let's see if that changes anything. Four stroke with full top speed. Watch it not even, watch it be worse. <laughs> we shall see, boys. Come on, Spence. We just need one race win, baby. That's all we need, baby. We don't need anything crazy. Keep it cool out of these corners. We don't have to seat bounce this. Yeah, yeah. Does this thing look like it's ripping? Let me know in chat, boys. You think this thing's ripping more? This game did come out in 2007. I know the four strokes caught on like right about that time maybe that's my whole problem here that jump why in the dog shit is it that small <laughs> every other jumps like you know you got to be going i don't know 420 miles an hour that one's like oh we're just gonna trick you real quick bro i don't know if the i don't know if that is the thing if it's the four strokes are that much but they don't really feel that much better like, I can't just tell an instantly noticeable difference or anything. Okay, that's like a triple. I mean, we're running max top speed, maximum momentum around the outside. Look at the... Dude, Tedesco's just outrunning me. I mean, I'm sure the different bike brands probably are a little bit different. Or are they? I don't even know because the performance parts don't affect the uh, tuning. I don't know. You still would think they would be a little different, but you definitely can't see it like you do. Okay, that's it. Yeah, you can jump past it. Okay. A little bit bigger jump. Tedesco just big hossing. Dude. Okay, this one let off a little, Spencey boy. Go up the inside here, dude. Don't miss the berm. I don't really need to be hopping too much through that. We need to stay on the ground. What's up, what's up, boys in chat? Dude, I'm still getting outran. Wow. It's not even that, dude. I think the I think the 282 stroke's about the same, really. As the I mean, this bike might be barely better. Just barely, maybe. But it ain't like the difference in going from a 252 stroke to a 450 on reflex. Definitely ain't like that. Interesting how the when you go back to the dirt bike games, it basically correlates to when the four strokes got good, better in real life. You know what I mean? It's about what it is in the games, too. Because, you know, the four strokes, I would say more like 2000. Even, the four strokes really didn't catch. <laughs> the four strokes really didn't start really popping off till like 2000, what, 8, 9, 10? That's when uh, Mitch Payton was really getting the 
at least the 250 four strokes go and obviously ricky won on a four stroke in oh what was that oh six he was still on the, was he still on the four stroke in oh six or was it just four stroke in i think it was four stroke oh six and oh seven was the partial year obviously on the four stroke two but like two strokes were definitely still right there all the way up until probably 2008, 9, 10. I mean, I guess maybe that's a little bit because obviously James Stewart was slower on that two stroke back in uh, 05. But I guess maybe they were good about that. I don't know. What up, Cadence? What up, bro? Yeah, like I know Stewart was getting straight outran in 2005 on that KX 250. Bro, I'm chilling in 10th. One little crash. One little crash. Um, so yeah, it's probably... But, of course, you're talking about Ricky Carmichael that was beating James Stewart, so it's kind of... <laughs> you know... Tedesco with the dub. Spency Boy still sucks ass, apparently. Eighth place. Yeah, about the time of reflex, I would agree. Bro, let's let's hit up another one. Shit. Southern Valley. Okay, here we go. Here we go. All right. No footer, brother. No footers for days. All right. Maybe I can pull it off this time. There's some Mac Daddy jumps on this one. There is some Mac Daddy jumps on this one. I mean, which one doesn't have Mac Daddy jumps? That's more like the way to say it. <laughs> I'm talking tea sipping. T no, 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 no. These aren't even tea sipping. These are tea guzzling rhythms and jumps. Not just tea sipping. Big difference. The tea guzzling jumps. Shit, my mistake, my bad. All right. Yeah, yeah, that's a little triple. Come on, Spence. You got it, buddy. Come on. Oh, shit. Oh, we're good. We're good. That's kind of a triple there, too. All right. Okay, let's see what we got. I'm thinking don't jump the big jump. Keep it, keep it low. Ooh, that's a little tricky little spot. Holy shit. Oh, I got a seat bounce there, yeah. Oh, look at the berms. Oh, you do. Pfft, dude, you go through all that, then you'll have that. We're back here in the carnage, dude. We're not pulling the whole shot. It gets us involved in these situations. I need to know better than that. Reed trying something on me. It's kind of cute. Dude, we're running fifth. Is this, what is this, a triple? He probably quad into the whoops. Or five jump into the whoops. Is this a triple? Not exactly. Dude, I'm just wide open. I don't know what else to say. I'm just wide open, brother.
That, that's the little triple spot. Okay. Dude, this is so hard. What the? Talk about Pastrana level difficulty. But like in the best way that I know how to say it. Like I'm not saying it in a bad way. This ain't, this ain't hard in a bad way. It's like challenging in a really good way. Okay, we jump this small to that little triple there. Carry this around. Inside's got to be the fast line there. Dude, we're going to turn into a pro untamed player. Watch this play out right now, dude. Pro untamed championships. Oh, what the... Dude! And then it's some shit like that. Restart. Restart. Run it back. Yeah, I, I, can't, I can't beat these dudes just tea sipping. I got a tea guzzle. Apparently. Supposedly. I'll go, go get it, Spency boy. Gotta get it. Gotta get it. Okay, we ripped the whole shot. Surely to goodness we can hold on to this. Surely to goodness. Oh, you little... Don't you do it. It's like one little mistake and they're right on you, dude. I'm talking right on you, dude. You don't even have to actually like really make a mistake. Just like, oh, you didn't grease, absolutely 100% grease that landing. They're right on you, dude. Oh, shit. Oh, I, I'm like, I don't know how to carry the speed out of that. That's a little tricky. Gotta seat bounce that. It's tough because you're already pulling up the hill. Bro, this is some shit. Oh my goodness. We're still in the lead. Still in the lead. I'm getting excited. Jump that. That's like a triple. Carry the speed, Spenty Boy. Momentum. <laughs> Momentum, Spenty Boy. Come on now. Come on now, buddy. Don't, f don't seat bounce that. Don't you do it. Don't seat bounce that either. Okay. I think we might have it. We still got a whole nother two laps here, though. Trust me, there's plenty of time for a mistake. See what I'm saying, though? You basically have to pull the whole shot and then hit every jump perfectly and be wide open everywhere else. Whoa, I'm getting... The T's starting to sweat out the palms. The T's starting to sweat out the palms. Whew, we got a race on our hands now. And I got to make up for that. Don't run into that guy. Dude, this is so next level. If you can't see how next level this is, I don't know any other way to explain it. This is next level. I'm on the gas. We're not just... Oh my God, it's a battle. Don't crash, Spence. No, no. Get up. Get up. God, tough block. Ruining my day. I can't do that corner. It's got all kinds of like little pre-made roughness. It made the bike bounce just a little bit. Okay, we'll triple that. Dudes. Can I do this? Come on, Spence. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. You got this, baby. White flag, baby. Come on, baby. Do it for the fans. Come on. Come on, buddy. Come on, baby. Come on now. Come on now, Spencey boy. You do this shit for a living, boy. Come on. You can do it, buddy. Is this a triple? I can't. It's like I can't risk it, you know? I can't risk... Seat bouncing when I'm not supposed to, so then it makes me let off. Dude, that guy's just far enough ahead. We're going to have to rip it. We're going to have to rip it to catch this guy. Oh, dude. Can you double that? I don't know. Shit, that was close <laughs> to them tough blocks. Oh, <laughs> uh, why am I going out here? What am I doing? I couldn't make the corner. No. 
That was my chance. Seat bounce this. Damn, that jump. It's like really hard to seat bounce that jump for some reason. We're about to get a second. Shit. Dude, no. Well, we are progressing, apparently. That's all I can say about that. Damn, dude. Josh Grant, dude. <sighs> wow. Holy crap, man. That was like damn near a perfect race other than when I hit the tough block. Other than that, basically a perfect race. Had a couple little mistakes, obviously, but... Dude, I'm going to keep going until I win. We're going to keep doing this shit. We're just going to keep on, keep keeping on. Try to keep going to some different tracks here. Let's go to this one. Dude, I got to get that win. Yeah, Xbox 360, man. They don't even make this on PC. There it is. Yo. Any track with pine is usually fire. Yeah. Yeah. Word. True. True. Dude, can I do this or or nah? I don't even know. Feel like I'm pro racing on MXM right now. Come on, Spence. It's like you got to stay out of that carnage. First couple corner carnage. Avoid the instant pop-off. You know what I mean? Get the out the way. Okay, double. Triple. It's like a damn super cross rhythm. What is this right here? Oh, I needed to seat bounce that shit. What is this? What is this? Oh, okay. It's going to take me about a lap to relearn the jumps here again. All right. Seat bounce that. Oh, what the hell? These are some more extreme jumps. That's for show. Dude, I'm just praying every time I land. Just please land. Don't pop off, please. Oh, what is this? It's like, a, okay, we're good. We're still in it. <laughs> Shit! <sighs> Dude, get off of me. Dude. Okay, they're not they're not completely out of sight yet. Come on, Spencer boy. Guzzle that tea. Bro, I can't even put my tea in a cup anymore. It needs to go out, out the faucet, dude. Can't be in the cup anymore, dude. Like, look at the speed. They're outrunning me again. This is crazy. This is actually crazy. Bro, restart. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. Wow. Let's see if I can remember the jumps again. Just give me a win. I just want to win. Just give me one win, brother. Okay, rip the whole shot. That's the first part. Uh, mess up on that. It's a damn super cross rhythm. That didn't happen. We didn't see that. Nobody saw that. We're starting right here. We Nobody saw that. <clears throat> Okay, well, it's fun, dude. We're just one restart's all we did. That's okay. Okay. Now I'm not even going to rip the whole shot. All right. Just kidding. Kind of maybe, sort of. Got it. Love it. What the hell is my bike doing? Bro, you can't you can't jump that. 
we didn't see it, we didn't happen, didn't happen, certainly did not happen. First restart. Bro, when you throw like a Mac Daddy ass supercross rhythm in the middle of a motocross track in the first second corner, first second corner, you know what I mean? Oh my god. Bro. Seat bounce there. Do we seat bounce here? I'm not going to do it. Oh, Spency boy. Yeah, yeah. Got to go two, three, whatever the fuck. Yeah. What the shit do I do here? That is a weird ass rhythm. Can I seat bounce this little thing? Now I got a single. Bro, we're seeing double, making triple. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude! Oh! No, dude! I'm, I, I, yo, big shout out to everybody still in the chat right here, just going through this pain with me right now. Dude! Like, I just know I'm not going to win. Like, unless, I, unless I'm perfect. You got to be perfect. This is truly all-time difficulty. That's exactly what it is. Truly all-time difficulty. You mother. You. Dogs, I, I don't know. Shit, I may have to put a few days into this game. Hell talking about. Okay, there's a the little triple there. Oh, and then it, it's like if you hit that corner just a little too far outside, then you're screwed. I guess I can't do it. Hell, I don't know. This is so badass. Like... This makes me want to play this game so much right now. Holy shit. Uh, let's just run some laps. Like, you know, probably need to learn the track, I guess. Oh, boys. I mean, this is something. Yeah, it's like if you go just a little too far outside, then you're too far there. This is something, boys. Come on, buddy. Can you triple? You just can't triple that. I guess that's the line. Like, double, double. This is just double. Then go inside here. This is so extreme. Definitely want to go full top speed, though. There's no doubt. Can you jump? Dude, can you jump all the way to that? That would be such a big jump down the hill. Like, holy crap. I think you can jump all the way. Bro, this is... Wowzers. Wowzers. I don't even think I had a full pop-off. And we're still chilling 10th. Just like, little, little mistake in the rhythm, chilling 10th. Shit, I'm going to have to end up doing another stream on this game to even get a fucking win. <laughs> like, wow. Dude, I can't do it on this one, boys. I just can't do it. I ain't got the, ain't got the skills on this one. Well, either way, appreciate you guys tuning in for this stream. We'll be back on another one. Spencey Boy needs to do some more training, apparently. I, I don't know. Wow, dude. Awesome game, though. Such a cool game, dude. I appreciate all the support. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Appreciate all the super chats. We will be back. We will be back. Okay? This, this gives me an opportunity to stream this game again and try to win again, so that'll be fun. Bros, this game is so cool. Wow, so cool. Later, dudes. We'll be back. We'll be back.